Uh, the other big story is obviously the tropics. There's this big disturbance out in the Atlantic. There's a northern side of this storm where it's producing disorganized showers and thunderstorms, and the actual center of the storm is now working through Hispaniola and is going to have land interaction with Hispaniola and Cuba before moving into the Gulf of Mexico. So a tropical depression could form this weekend or early next week. It just depends on how much land interaction it has with uh, islands in the uh, Caribbean. Uh, the big change from this time yesterday is going to be where the global models have shifted. Yesterday we were talking about it off of our coast. Now they all have shifted to the Gulf of Mexico. This would favor higher rain chances for us going into the weekend and into early next week. Now exactly how strong it gets, there's still that big question mark. And you can see that on our European model. European is uh, very slow with the system and developing it. GFS is very quick with that system. Regardless, we're going to expect a lot of rainfall across central Florida, especially for our Gulf Coast locations. Five to seven inches of precipitation four to six from I-75 to I-4 and along I-95, two to four inches of precipitation. Flooding not going to be a large concern for Saturday. We'll be watching that flood potential on Sunday. There is a better flood potential along the Gulf Coast and parts of I-75. Monday looks like the better flood potential for all of central Florida, as we'll really get a lot of the uh, rain from that system. So a few question marks that we still need to fine tune. How strong is it going to get? Where is it going to go? Is it going to go in the big bend or is it going to go into the panhandle of Florida? But we do know Sunday, Monday, high rain chances potentially lingering into Tuesday as well.